students how are you all this is me anam and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to learn about the venn diagram now before uh, further continuing with the topic let me tell you that i have already uh, uploaded videos on the four operations of sets which is union intersection difference of sets and complement of a set now i have also uploaded uh, some uh, videos regarding disjoint sets and overlapping sets universal set and subsets so if you have any uh, confusion in any of these topics you can go and further check them out okay now let's continue with the venn diagram now basically what is a venn diagram now venn diagram is basically a simple uh, closed figure to show sets and the relationship between them okay either they are like overlapped if they have anything common in between them or they don't have anything common in between them what role uh, how Uh, you basically you perform the operations through the diagram okay whatever is happening uh, whatever we learned in the union intersection or difference whatever we did like solving it on the paper now you're going to represent the answers through the pictures this is what a venn diagram is okay now um let's talk about how we represent those sets okay through venn diagram what is the basic figure that we use the basic representation of the venn diagram let's talk about that okay now basically uh, if you see here there is a rectangle and some circles inside so in venn diagrams a universal set is represented by a rectangle and the other sets are represented by simple circles inside that rectangle okay now all of these sets are which are represented inside the rectangle in circles are basically the subsets of the universal set okay so the all these lm sets have only those elements which are present in the universal set okay now uh if you see in the figure 1 you can see there's only one set that that is a in the second uh, figure you can see that there are two sets a and b and there are two separate circles they're not joined together they are uh, represented separately which shows that these two are disjoint sets they don't have anything common in between them and if you look at the third figure you'll see that the a and b are kind of overlapping each other from the middle so this this is representing the overlapping sets and the portion that you see that is kind of overlapping each other in the center that is basically showing the elements that are common in between the sets a and b that's why they are overlapping each other okay now in the second figure they are disjoint there is nothing common so that's why they are shown as two separate circles but in the third figure you can see that essence there are common elements in between them so the two circles are joined together from the center to show that there are um common elements in between them so they are overlapping sets now let's discuss all these operations on sets through the venn diagrams the first one is going to be the union of sets okay so now we're going to represent the union of sets through the venn diagram now the first case that we're going to discuss is when a is a subset of b now what does it mean by a is a subset of b it means that uh, all the elements of a are um present in set b okay so how are you going to represent the case where you say a union b so here you can see that b is a bigger circle and a is written inside it and all of the area is shaded so since we are talking about the a union b and the union is only happening between the sets a and b so we are only going to shade the area where the operation is being ha is happening when we are talking about a is a subset of b like all the elements of a are also the elements of b so we are going to write the entire um circle we are going to draw the entire set a circle inside the set b to represent a is a subset of b now let's talk about another case where b is a subset of a now a is a bigger set and b is a subset of a right now the all which means that all the elements of b are also the elements of a okay um the all the common elements of these two sets are basically the members of set b okay so that's why we have represented uh, the set b inside the set a and that's and we have shaded the set a and b together to show that should show the operation a union b okay 
so here in this case when b is a subset of a it means that the b is a smaller set all its elements are present inside a so the a is going to be the bigger set that's why we have represented b as a smaller circle inside the set a okay now let's have a look at the third um, case which is a and b are overlapping sets now the first two we discussed were the subsets where there were subsets now the third one we're going to discuss it is the case when a and b are overlapping sets which means that a and b have some elements that are common between them not um, all elements so here you can see in this figure that the two circles set a and set b are only overlapping each other from the center okay which shows that there lie the common elements okay now we have shaded the uh, set a and b together now we are not shading the universal set to show the operation that is uh, being um, performed is a union b okay so uh, as i told you earlier we're only going to shade the areas of the um, venn diagram where the actual operation is being happening now let's move towards the uh, fourth case where a and b are disjoint sets as you know that disjoint means that no element of set a and b are common so uh, we're going to draw those two circles separately representing set uh, set a and b as you can see in this figure but we're still going to shade both of these areas to show a union b all right because in the examples in the previous videos if you remember the examples like a and b are combined into one set but since there is nothing common in between them there is no overlapping happening in between these two circles they are uh, represented as two separate one circles okay so this is how you represent the union between the two disjoint sets all right now let's have a look at the intersection of sets now we know that intersection means that we have to take out the common elements from the sets we have to identify the common elements between the sets okay now i'm also going to discuss the four conditions that we discussed uh, in the union of sets now the first case that we're going to discuss is when the a is a subset of b if you um, remember what i told you about the subset is that when a is a subset of b it means that the all the elements of set a are present in set b not a single uh, element is left out okay so in that case when a is a subset of b we are going to draw the bigger circle b first and then draw the smaller circle which is a set a inside the set b which shows that uh, the a is a subset of b right now we here uh, we are asked to do the a intersection b operation right so for intersection we are only going to um, shade the uh, the area of set a because it shows the common elements between these two sets okay now since a is a subset of b all the elements of set a are present in b so the common elements in between these two are the entire elements of set a right so this is how we're going to represent the set when a is a subset of b through a venn diagram let's move to the second case which is when b is a subset of a right now when b is a subset of a it is entirely an opposite case of the when a is a subset of b now here the bigger uh, bigger set is set a and b is its subset right so the all the elements of set b are present in set a okay so the common elements that are going to be shaded are the, those of the set b right so when we are going to represent the a intersection b through the through the venn diagrams we are only going to shade the area of the uh, set b which shows the common elements between the two sets right now let's move towards the third uh, condition which is where a and b are overlapping sets okay now what are overlapping sets overlapping sets are those which have a few of the elements common in between them now here you can see that a and b are the overlapping each other the circles are overlapping each other and i have shaded only the center portion the overlapping portion is only shaded which shows the intersection operation right a intersection b we are going to identify only the common elements so the common elements between the a set a and b is this shaded portion right so this is how we're going to represent the intersection in in the case where a and b are overlapping okay now let's talk about the fourth case where a and b are disjoint sets okay now since we know that uh when there are two disjoint sets there is no common element between them and when you're going to take an intersection it's going to be an empty set 
ओके नथिंग कॉमन बिटवीन दैम दिस जॉइंट सेट्स आर दोज विच हैव नो कॉमन एलिमेंट बिटवीन दैम राइट सो इन दिस केस इज यू कैन सी इन द फिगर we have drawn set a and b but we haven't shaded any of the area why would we share the uh, shade the area because since we have no common element in between them so we are not going to shade anything in case the sets a and b are disjoint sets so this is how we represent the intersection of sets through venn diagrams right now let's move towards the third operation which is the difference of two sets a and b Now the first case is again where a is a subset of b. Now how are we going to represent this scenario, which is a minus b? Since a is a subset of b, which means that b is the bigger set, and a is represented inside it, a is drawn inside it, which act which shows that a is a subset of b. Now when we're going to subtract the elements of b from a, there will be an empty set because. Uh, during subtraction we know that we subtract all the elements of the second set from the first one when we write the rema uh, remaining elements inside the curly brackets but since a is a subset of b all the elements of a are present inside b so when we are doing the subtraction all the elements of a will be subtracted so there will be nothing left okay so there will be no shaded portion there will be no shading inside in the case where there a is a subset of b right whatever uh, the elements are inside a will be subtracted and the resulting will be an empty set okay now talking about the second case where b is a subset of a and we are performing the operation a minus b so a is the bigger set and we are going to draw b inside it now when we are subtracting the elements of b from a since b is a subset of a and um, they after subtracting the elements of b from a there are still some elements left in a right so the a the a minus b will not be an empty set so we are going to shade the entire set a excluding the portion of b okay because we are showing the operation a minus b we are showing the elements what are the elements that are left through a figure so where when we doing a minus b we are subtracting all the elements from of set b from a and the resulting elements that are left in set a are being shaded we are not going to shade the uh, portion b because we have subtracted that right so that's how you going to represent a minus b where b is a subset of a b is the smaller set inside the bigger set now coming towards the third case where a and b are overlapping sets Now, when we are going to perform the operation a minus b, here you can see that I have only shaded the portion of a, and I have not shaded the overlapping portion, and not shaded the set b. Now, it basically means that we have subtracted the set b from a. So, while subtracting, we are only going to subtract those elements uh, from the set which are common. obviously if you remember what i've told you what i've taught you in the previous lecture of how we uh, find out the difference of sets the only um, uh, elements that get subtracted from the set a are those which are common and the rest are written as it is so here you can see that i have shaded the entire uh, the set a area of the set a excluding the portion where they are being overlapped right so the non overlapping portion of a it represents the elements that are left after performing the operation a minus b now talking about the disjoint sets where no elements of set a and b are common and we're going to uh, um uh, perform the operation a minus b when we subtract the elements of b from a since there are no common elements in between them the resulting answer will be the entire set a because nothing is subtracted from the a because b has nothing in common uh, with a so nothing will get subtracted from a and the resulting answer will be the set a so we're going to uh, um shade only the set a in this case right now talking about the complement of a set okay now since you know that the complement of a set belongs to the set itself right it's the relationship between the universal set and the set itself right so there are first two cases where a complement is equal to u minus a 
so in that case the venn diagram will be drawn only for set a we're not gonna draw set b inside that okay because the complement is only related to the universal set and the set itself okay nothing no other set is involved now when we are taking the a complement and we are subtracting the elements of a my from the universal set so we are excluding the elements of a uh, while shading the Venn diagram, we are only going to shade the uh, leftover area of the universal set, excluding the area where set A is drawn. So the entire shaded area is going to be the A complement because A complement represents all the elements of the universal set which are not present in the set A. Okay? So that's why we're not going to shade this area of the set A. We are going to shade the entire universal set rectangle. Now, in the second picture here, you can see that we have taken the complement of a set B. Now, here, I have drawn the circles of set B here. And the shaded portion is the entire rectangle of a universal set excluding the circle of set B. Which is, when you subtract the elements of set B from the universal set, the remaining elements of universal sets are being shaded in Venn diagram which are not the part of the set B, right? Because complement is kind of an opposite of that set, right? So this is how we represent the complement of a set. So this was today's lecture. Uh, let's uh, meet in my another video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.